Imagine a weapon that travels at three times the speed of sound, carries 32 times more destructive power than America's famous Tomahawk missile, and has never been successfully intercepted by any defense system in the world. This isn't science fiction. This is the BrahMos, a supersonic cruise missile combining stealth, speed, and surgical impact in one devastating package. After the Gulf War of 1991, the world saw the power of cruise missiles. India knew it needed to catch up. In 1993, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, then chief of the Defense Research and Development Organization, visited Russia as India sought to enhance its missile capabilities following the collapse of the Soviet Union. During this period, India identified an opportunity to collaborate with Russia on advanced missile technology, particularly drawing upon the Russian P-800 Onyx, also known as Yakhont cruise missile, which had not been widely deployed due to the Soviet collapse. This collaboration led to the signing of an intergovernmental agreement on February 12, 1998, between Dr. Kalam and Russia's first Deputy Defense Minister, N.V. Mikhailov, establishing BrahMos Aerospace, a joint venture between DRDO and Russia's NPO Mashinostroyenia. The company was set up with $250 million in authorized capital, of which India contributed 50.5% and Russia contributed 49.5%. The aim was to jointly design, develop, manufacture, and market the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile system. The joint effort focused on integrating India's expertise from the Integrated Guided Missile Development Program, particularly in guidance, control systems, and software, with the robust propulsion and airframe technology of Russia's P-800 Onyx missile. The name BrahMos merges the Brahmaputra and Moskva rivers, symbolizing the partnership between India and Russia. On June 12, 2001, the first BrahMos missile was launched from Chandipur in Odisha, becoming the world's first operational supersonic cruise missile. Despite India's majority stake, the export of BrahMos missiles requires mutual approval from both India and Russia, as both partners retain rights over export decisions. BrahMos has two stages of propulsion. First, a solid propellant booster pushes the missile past the speed of sound, then detaches. Next, a liquid-fueled ramjet, an air-breathing engine, takes over, drawing in atmospheric oxygen rather than carrying its own oxidizer. That makes the missile lighter and more fuel-efficient, and keeps it at supersonic speed throughout its entire flight. BrahMos flies between Mark 2.8 and Mark 3.5. It is almost four times faster than subsonic missiles like the American Tomahawk. It covers its range in just minutes, leaving very little time to react. The missile is 8.4 meters long, 70 centimeters in diameter, and has a wingspan of 1.7 meters. BrahMos missile weight differs slightly across versions. The standard BrahMos, including air-launched configurations, typically weighs between 2.5 to 3 tons. The ship and land-based versions of the BrahMos can carry 200 kilogram warheads, while the air-launched version can carry a 300 kilogram payload. BrahMos doesn't rely solely on its explosive warhead for destruction. Its supersonic speed creates massive kinetic energy that boosts its destructive power. At Mark 2.8, it holds nine times the energy of subsonic missiles. Compared to the Tomahawk, it delivers more than 32 times the energy with only 60% of the payload. Even without exploding its warhead, BrahMos can punch through reinforced targets and cause catastrophic damage by impact alone. Its kinetic force and explosive warhead together can destroy aircraft hangars, naval ships, critical infrastructure, and hardened military bases in one strike. BrahMos uses advanced stealth to stay nearly invisible to enemy radars. The missile features an extremely low radar cross-section, combined with a speed of Mark 2.8, it is almost impossible to intercept. Its guidance system operates on the fire and forget principle, which requires no additional operator input after launch. BrahMos uses a sophisticated multi-layered navigation system that combines an inertial navigation system with satellite-based guidance using multiple constellations, including the American GPS, Russia's GLONASS, India's NAVIC, and Gagan. Central to this capability is an Indian-developed chip called G3OM, which stands for GPS, GLONASS, and Gagan on a module. Weighing just 17 grams, it delivers targeting accuracy within 5 meters. This embedded chip enables the BrahMos missile to use multiple satellite navigation systems concurrently, enhancing reliability and precision in GPS-denied or contested environments. 
This triple redundancy approach ensures that even if one guidance system fails, BrahMos can still locate and destroy its target with pinpoint accuracy. The missile achieves a circular error probable of less than 10 meters and in some configurations, just 1 to 2 meters, making it devastatingly precise. BrahMos can execute complex three-dimensional flight trajectories with varying altitudes, from sea-skimming attacks at just 5 meters above sea level to cruising altitudes up to 15 kilometers. The missile can perform high-G maneuvers, including the famous S maneuver demonstrated at Mach 2.8 speeds, and execute steep terminal dives that make interception virtually impossible. What makes BrahMos truly unique is its universal design. The same missile can launch from land, sea, air, and submarines, something no other supersonic cruise missile can do. Let's start with land-based deployment. The Indian Army has been using BrahMos since 2007. These missiles are mounted on mobile autonomous launchers, basically rugged military trucks that can move fast and set up quickly. A land-based weapon complex consists of four to six MALs controlled by a mobile command post. Each truck carries three missiles ready to fire at different targets or all at once in a devastating salvo. After firing, these systems can quickly pack up and move to avoid enemy retaliation. The land attack BrahMos comes in three different configurations, Block 1, Block 2, and Block 3, each designed with unique features to engage adversaries in different conflict situations. In March 2025, India approved buying 250 new BrahMos missiles with an 800-kilometer range for both the Army and Air Force. These will be deployed in desert and high-altitude regions. Now let's talk about naval deployment. The Indian Navy has deployed BrahMos on warships since 2005 in both inclined and vertical launch configurations. These naval versions can attack both land and sea targets. Naval platforms can fire up to eight missiles at once. A long-range version, BrahMos LR, with a reach of 800 kilometers, was successfully tested from a warship in early 2025. The air-launched version required some serious engineering. They had to reduce the booster size and add tail fins to keep it stable when dropped from an aircraft. It's now successfully integrated with India's Sukhoi-30 MKI fighter jets. This gives the missile incredible reach. Fighters can carry it deep into enemy territory and hit high-value targets with pinpoint accuracy. The Air Force is also getting those new 800-kilometer range missiles we mentioned earlier. BrahMos is capable of being launched from submarines, offering a stealthy strategic deterrence capability. The submarine-launched version of the upcoming BrahMos NG is planned to be equipped on India's new P-75I class submarines. Speaking of BrahMos NG, this is the next-generation version that's smaller, lighter, and more advanced. It will weigh about 1.5 tons, making it 50% lighter and up to 3 meters shorter than the current missile. With the weight reduced, a single Sukhoi-30 MKI will be able to carry three missiles instead of just one. The NG will maintain the same impressive specs, 290 km of range and Mark 3.5 speed. But it's also stealthier, with a smaller radar signature and advanced AESA radar that makes it much harder to detect and intercept. The first flight tests are expected in late 2025 or early 2026. To support this expansion, India opened a new BrahMos Aerospace facility in Lucknow in May 2025. This factory will produce 80 to 100 current BrahMos missiles each year, then scale up to manufacture 100 to 150 of the new NG versions annually. The BrahMos missile initially had its range limited to 290 km due to restrictions imposed by the Missile Technology Control Regime MTCR. But after India became a member of this group in June 2016, international restrictions that had been holding back range development were removed and the range was expanded to 450 km, with ongoing efforts to further extend it to 800 km. These extended ranges completely changed the strategic game. With a 400 km range, BrahMos can strike deep into enemy territory while keeping the launch platform safely out of reach of most defensive systems. Imagine the psychological impact. Your enemy can hit you, but you can't hit back. The next evolutionary leap comes with BrahMos 2. This is the hypersonic version designed to achieve speeds between Mark 7 and Mark 8. Once operational, this hypersonic system will make all current missile defense technologies completely obsolete. BrahMos isn't just impressive on paper. It's now a combat-proven weapon system with real battlefield success. In May 2025, during Operation Sindur, India used BrahMos missiles in precision strikes against multiple Pakistani military targets. This marked the first confirmed combat use of these supersonic missiles. The scope of the operation was massive. 
Brahmos missiles hit numerous Pakistani air force bases. We're talking about Rafiqi, Murid, Noor Khan, Rahim Yar Khan, Sukkur, and Chunia. Additional damage was reported at Skardu, Bholari, Jacobabad, and Sargodha airfields. Pakistani Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif publicly admitted that Pakistani forces couldn't intercept a single Brahmos missile. Even more revealing was the complete failure of Pakistan's Chinese-made HQ-9B air defense system. These are supposed to be advanced defensive systems, but they couldn't even engage the incoming missiles. Brahmos proved virtually unstoppable. Brahmos represents one of India's greatest defense manufacturing success stories. When the project started, Russia supplied 65% of the missile's components, including the critical ramjet engine and radar seeker systems. Over the years, India has steadily increased the indigenous content of the Brahmos missile. By 2018, about 65% of the missile was manufactured in India. With new, locally produced target seekers and rocket boosters, that will increase to 85%. This effort is part of India's Make in India initiative, which cuts reliance on foreign suppliers and builds homegrown manufacturing strength. More than 200 Indian companies now supply components for Brahmos, creating a strong domestic supply chain. International recognition of technological superiority of Brahmos has opened up massive export opportunities. India is now among the elite nations capable of exporting advanced missile systems. In January 2022, the Philippines became first foreign customer of Brahmos with a $375 million order for three missile batteries. The first batch was delivered in April 2024 and the second batch followed in April 2025. This export success isn't just about money. It validates proven combat effectiveness and technological advantages of Brahmos over competing systems. The missile's reputation got an even bigger boost from its operational debut during Operation Sindur, where it demonstrated the ability to penetrate advanced air defense networks and strike strategic targets. Nothing sells a weapon system like proven battlefield success. Countries like Vietnam, Malaysia and Indonesia, along with other nations in Southeast Asia, the Middle East and South America, have all shown strong interest in acquiring Brahmos missiles. From a half-finished Russian engine concept to the world's most feared supersonic cruise missile, Brahmos has established India as a global leader in advanced weapons technology while providing unmatched defensive and offensive capabilities. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed and learned something from the video, then please like it and share it with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos ahead.